Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning Brittany. Brittany. This is so cool to be able to come here. Um, I was at the first Bardic Madness, and uh, to see it spread like mold all across the known world. <laughs> Does my old heart good. Um, for this challenge, I bring you a piece that was a response to a challenge at uh, No More Cooks and Bards um, a few years ago. The, the challenge was two cooks and a brewer walk into a bard. <laughs> <laughs> and um, my muse sort of took it in a different direction. The sweetness of summer's first fruit, or new love, the salt of shed tears and likewise shed blood, deep bitter grief and hatred so cold, the deep and rich savor of friendships grown old, the bright tang of pickle on hot summer day, the sour taste of terror close pressed in the fray, the light floral notes of nectar or nard inspire the works of the cooks and the brewers and bards. Bushels of vegetables, late summer's yield, barley and hops that grow in the field, the apples of autumn, the fruit of the vine, words set in order with rhythm and rhyme. A handful of herbs, a sprinkle of spices, the turn of a phrase, a chorus of voices, Meat from the forest or pasture or yard, all mise en place for the cooks and the brewers and bars. Both pointed and sharp, the knife and the wit, to carve off the fat, to pry loose the pit. The sieve they all use to filter the pot, whether broth or clear wort or verses are sought. With mortar and pestle and trial after trial, they labor for hours to grind him full while. These tools they all use and more they desire, one more, for there must always be fire. A hot searing flame or slow simmering coal, this is the passion that ignites the soul of the cook and the brewer. What to cut, what to trim, what to leave well alone. Should I be concerned with that color of foam? <laughs> how hot to simmer, how long to bake? Does that scan to green sleeves? Oh, muse, please awake. <laughs> We're out of that herb. What to use in its place? Sing the verses in minor till she sees his face. First roll the die, then turn the card. This is the craft of the cook and the brewers and bards. A savory stew or a full-bodied ale, a sweet and crisp cider, a marvelous tale, a humorous ditty, a flavorful roast, a salad that's piquant, a soul-stirring boast, a pottage of onions, but just take one taste. Is that five-year-old mead? Let no drop go to waste. The results of their labor so long and so hard. These are the works of the cooks and the brewers and bars. Laughter and merriment, visions and dreams, perhaps some shenanigans, nefarious schemes, minds stirred to action, hearts moved to tears, bold tales of courage soothing all fears, a time of repast, all worries retard. These are the gifts of the cooks and the brewers.